guys hello 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 literally one week off and we're back with a story time on a sunday i feel like a sunday is a good day to upload videos maybe i'll move my upload day to a sunday um am i in a comfortable position this is as comfortable maybe i could lean back against my headboard but i've really set up this camera and the lighting so that you guys can see me if i turn okay hello my lovelies i hope everybody is well it's your girl jackie vanaka and welcome to my youtube channel i hope you like what you watch if you are new here um please do like comment and subscribe and if you're a subscriber welcome back thank you for clicking on for another video as you can tell in the title i feel like i'm to the side a bit too much should i adjust you again i wanted a comfy setting because you know story time um so we got hot chocolate we've been debating for the last four weeks of whether i should actually put this up because this is a bit mad and i was like okay worst case scenario said person just resurrects and gets mad and that's really that it's not my problem because i'm not innocent but i'm definitely not him do you know what i mean like i'm so basically guys i feel i was planning to film this as a get ready with me like for a christmas look which is the look i've got now i'm like i don't know if you could how's it looking i've gone for like a gold inside with like a reddish on the outside i think i might actually do my makeup like this on christmas day so yeah i did a get ready with me part way through i was like this is so like crazy sporadic there's no flow i'm jumping from here to here to there to there like i was like i just need to like plan out how i'm gonna say because there was so much that went on nine weeks of craziness but i'm just gonna tell it because i hope no one is as silly as i was i th i was silly i was definitely silly and i was naive i was dumb and I was, i'll never do this again but he was worse okay week one i don't know if anyone else is like me but when I start a new job, when I work somewhere, I have this mental thing in going on. And it's like, you're going to work, baby girl. You're going to get your bread and go home. There's no time for love. No love around here, okay? You get your bread and go home, sis. Everyone is broke. Get your money and go home. That's 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 my mentality. Because I don't, I don't want to carry... That's like carrying my personal life into work and then my work life into my, into my house. I'm not doing that. So anyway, so that's my mantra, right? That's what, that's what I live by. So in this job, I'm not going to say which job it is. If you work it out, you work it out. But if you don't, then there's no need to talk about it. Um. So on the first day, we got to pick our seats. Now, I was one of the first ones in with David, name you need to remember, and Lily. Yeah, she plays quite an important role in this. So I remember her to David, me, then Lily. Um at the desk so because i'm next to david we just naturally same with lily like i naturally just got to know them both one thing that david did from the get-go was like i've got a missus he made it very clear he wouldn't overly talk about it he didn't keep his relationship a secret i don't know how long they'd been dating for at that point actually but not more than a year like they'd been together less than a year um and they'd moved in together so obviously big moves and then we're just having conversations throughout the week we just talk it's good vibes like i just can't i couldn't complain i honestly couldn't complain then week two comes along so week two we're calling it problem start he's done with charlotte now charlotte is the girlfriend charlotte is the missus week two he comes in and you know those just the standard like how's your evening been or how was your weekend it depends on the day obviously if you come in on a monday how's your weekend if it's a, like a wednesday it's how's your evening right so he comes in and he's like he asks a question he's like oh how was your evening and i was like i'll oh, just stand up you know i'll finish work went home ate dinner went to bed and i'm back here again hello he was like my night was it was okay he was like oh yeah same i went home had dinner and then charlotte wouldn't let me sleep because she thought i was cheating on her so she kept me up and i was like that is mad that is that's actually mad now lily who i sat next to as well she's quite like was it in intrusive like she likes to know kind of a person like you'll say something and she'll be like she'll want to know more which is quite good i wish i was sometimes i wish i was more like that because i feel like you can really get to know someone from doing that i'd get really shy i'd be like okay you've just told me that and you're not 
sharing any more does that mean you don't want to share anymore because i don't want to push you to say more than you want to say um so yeah she accused him of cheating on her with two girls and this was something that happened on snap i think it was like he had added two girls that he knew on snap and do you know when you add someone it comes up as like as if a chat's been going on that's how it came up on his phone and she's gone onto his phone she sees that she's keeping him up she's having a go she's mad he goes yeah that's like i'm done that's the final straw and to me i'm thinking like this seems like the first problem because yesterday you all loved up and happy so i was like oh no nah, you guys will be fine kind of brushed it off like right? thought nothing of it guys week three david goes on holiday david goes on holiday with the lads that's what we're calling it week three david goes david goes on holiday mm -hmm. so he's on a lads holiday in i forgot where they went i honestly have i think it was like day one or day two on him, of him being on holiday he messages me on instagram and we started talking first initially it was to do with work and then it kind of went into like as to living together and then it moved on to him saying oh you should come out like he was like i thought i've inviting you but i didn't know if you would be on it and i'm thinking like i can't fly out and stay in a hotel like what so like why would i come out plus you're on a lad's holiday like chill and you've got a message and he was like um no, you can come fly out and you can come and stay with me um like in my bed don't worry about the lads the whole time i was like you've got that's where you got a girl even when he was like we should move in together i was like but you've got a girl he goes nah i'm not planning to live with her much longer like when i come back i'm gonna end it <laughs> well that sounds so mental to you lot you're honestly gonna think like what's going on with you but um there was this whole thing of like i liked how motivated he was and i liked his personality like he was so super chill to talk to we kind of listened to the same music we got on really well good height good build attractive guy but obviously as a girl and obviously i'm like don't get involved with the guys you work with kind of a thing so that's all going on but like i'm still human you know we're talking quite a bit something kind of started happening the guys at work are all telling me like yeah no he's been asking us like who we like between you and lily and those guys didn't answer because they're in relationships and david would he'd be like oh i like jackie like she's really pretty maybe he didn't say really but he said pretty you get the point in it so that was going on so obviously hearing that at work and then what happened the chat with david I'm kind of thinking okay so there's something here that i've been completely oblivious to because i've been thinking he's all what you know married off and they're just having some little squibbles but they'll get over it then while he's on holiday charlotte Ho hawks charlotte hacks into his socials like as in his instagram she hacks into his snap she then takes over like she logs into his emails but it's a whole different level and then so because she had access to his emails what was she also doing guys anyone anyone want to guess she changed the password recovery number to hers so he couldn't even log in to like reset the password because she'd hacked into his emails and she was changing all of this behind the scenes so then he i messages me and he's like oh she's acting to my social so we have to message on here and i was like that's wild i checked with him like the last message that was sent from his account it was actually him so like she didn't say anything to me but i know she knows about me okay i know at that i knew at that point she knew about me and that's it just became a problem because i was like i this wasn't even meant to get like this like in my mind this was no meant to get like this this was not meant to get like this now we're on to week four david back from holes and she's refusing to move out you guessed it of course he comes back from his holiday um so he comes in on a wednesday i think he was ill like monday tuesday something like that so i don't get to see him till wednesday um and we kind of i message and he was like oh, i'll just tell you when i'm in office like it's a bit long for me to tell you over text I'll tell you when I'm in office. I was like, calm, calm, that's cool. So he comes down my zone. He's like, yeah, she's not going anywhere. Like, she's seen everything and she wants us to work it out instead. Um, and she won't let me go. Like, she's threatening. Like, So to him, he's like, rah, I've got to stay. We've just got, I've got to play, like, friendly. Um, but he's like, um, 
fully logged out of this relationship like i'm not even in it i'm just paying like happy families to keep the peace until this tenancy is done like he's trapped in because of this tenancy like i think they were under one contract so it's not even like he could leave the contract or whatever and it was a one bed so it was stress it was just so stress man so yeah then on the friday we have a chat uh, i call him and we have a phone call and we talk about things and oh, it's actually week four it's actually week four jackie calm down so we talk about feelings i was like listen like i'm kind of starting to like you and it's annoying because it feels like you're just playing me and if you are like that's cool like i'm obviously the fool which i am but like just let me know because obviously you got her and you're going back to her every single day and this is i don't know what's going on here like i'm pretty dumb probably for catching feelings whatever 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 right and then he's on the other end of the phone going no i do like you i want to like give like us a proper try as in us by as he meant me and him a proper try and um, would say all of that and i'd be like okay it's like yeah but it's just tricky right now because i still live with her so i can't really do too much i'm trying to keep the peace i need to play happy families until she's out of the house and we can like take things like proper seriously kind of a chat that's basically how that chat went so i was like okay cool i can play the long game like where did i think that phone call was gonna go i think i was kind of hoping he'd be like this is not gonna work kind of the thing so that i'd stop thinking that anything will happen because that would have been great because then that would have just been four weeks but no 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 we go on to week five some things that we said to each other were a bit to this day i was i me i was waking up a lot earlier i wasn't sleeping as much maybe that's what it was i was delusional i was tired okay we're gonna blame it on me being tired but anyway so we started texting while at work like we'd say any there were quite a lot of things that we could say like out loud because it was just generally like us getting to know each other kind of a thing like it was crazy and then there'll be the occasional time when we just have to start texting and it was actually quite funny because we'd be sat next to each other and we're texting so like i'd text and then i'd put my phone down and he'd pick his up and he'd type and put his phone down it was quite funny but it like it had that like sneaky element sometimes it won't be as obvious as like as soon as my phone goes down his is up but yeah anyway you get the point like we were texting at work i think he was like flicking through his phone or something like that and he shows me his hinge and i was like oh, this is well i think his hinge was kind of him showing me how unserious he is about his relationship so yeah he shows me his hinge and then obviously when i go home i find his hinge you know i did the, i did the extra work because we're not in the same area i liked him and then he matched back with me but i think he matched back with me the following morning obviously because he's not going to be scrolling through hinge next to his girlfriend is he no he's not he just he said everything i wanted to hear guys he said everything i wanted to hear no wonder why I caught feelings. Anyway, so it's week six. Start getting more serious. So, on, I can't remember what day of the week it was, but we always got the tube together. Maybe this was an important piece of information, I don't know. But we always got the tube together, right? Um, and But I would get off earlier than him like 20 minutes earlier than him or something like that one day like we didn't get on the tube with anyone else sometimes we get on the tube with other people this one day we didn't we just got on the tube with just us two and he put his arm around me and we, we cuddled and we chatted and it was kind of nice from when he got back from holiday he wasn't allowed to message me obviously I, it makes sense like my name coming up on his phone is like a wtf kind of a moment right so he'd be like no while i'm at work it's fine but when i'm home like he'd block me he'd block me from the second like we'd leave each other after work so if whether that's from like right from the office or if that's like we get the train together like as soon as we part ways he'd block me until the next morning when he sees me again and that's when he'd unblock me and then we'd be able to talk kind of thing so yeah we were on the tube cuddling talking it was really nice then i got off the tube I'm walking home i messaged him i was like that was a nice cuddle he was like yeah da -da -da. and then he was like oh, i'll talk to you tomorrow because like obviously i got a prep for getting home and i was like yeah have a nice evening and lily was kind of good because she'd ask obviously i've said it before like she'd ask the questions that i didn't want to ask so she was really finding out what was going on like 
when he'd go home and it's just them two and he'd just always come in and be like it's just problems he's not she's not letting him sleep she's constantly like having a go she's just being toxic as he would say i think he said toxic but he's basically he was like i'm not happy in my relationship i want to get out but i can't get out because i'm trapped by this tendency and i was like that's so peak and it just kind of i was like there's nothing i can do for you like uh, there's actually nothing i can do for you so me talking about this with you i feel like it's just not my place right now because i'm now the other woman why do i like being the other woman i'm actually the the problem i am the problem i'm the problem I'm the problem. Later on in the week, we talk about having a date. I never initiated anything throughout the whole thing. I let him lead the way because I was like, no, you're in a relationship. I'm not trying to lead anything like here. I, this is all you. Like anything that happens is because you have initiated it and I've just followed suit. I'm a single girl. I can do what I want. We need to stop blaming the innocent single person. It's your man. It's your gal, you know. The date was meant to happen on a Thursday, I think and then it just didn't happen then i mentioned it after lunch so on the friday he had an interview at lunchtime so we couldn't even reschedule it to then so we're like we'll just do it next week it's fine and we even booked a place to go at lunch because he couldn't do after work and so he could never do after work ever ever he couldn't do after work he had to be home at a set time every day otherwise his girl think he's cheating and he was trying to keep the peace etc etc he has an interview friday and then at lunchtime yeah so his men interview is lunchtime friday he comes and finds me because the interview finishes early and i've just gone shopping i think lily wasn't in that day so i just gone shopping like to pass time during lunch and he messaged me i was like i finished my interview where are you and i was like well, i told him where i was and he came to me we went around a little bit and we went to get food and then we ate together outside lovely this was like a 40 minute conversation and it just it flowed like it went so well yeah it was a good time and now we're entering week seven which i've called messy so on the monday we went on the day as you know it was booked in and it was very nice like he didn't go on his phone i didn't go on my phone we were just like in our own space like there was you know we we're doing some footsies hand holding at the table that feels a lot it's actually a lot the following day so now we're on a tuesday on the tube home it was just the two of us i get off the tube i think he got off with me as well because there was something going on on the tra like tube line whatever so we had to switch so i got off and he got off with me we we were cuddling on the trip on the tube we get off together and then we hug like goodbye just the standard like but like it was kind of nice actually and then as i'm like pulling away for him to walk away he pulls me back in and he kisses me good kiss great kiss we kissed three times in public three times that's just taken like what we had as like just a, like a little whatever to like this is crazy and to make matters worse what happens after this kiss I walk away what does he do he blocks me i was like i can't do this i was honestly for the rest of that night i was like oh my goodness we've just kissed and you've blocked me like i think at that point i really deep the whole situation like before then i was like oh it's just like it's just a jokey thing like it's probably not gonna happen because he's still living with her but no 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 he um he very much so blocks me and it became real and i was like oh my goodness i need to get myself out of this situation i was like i am too deep in i'm catching feelings for this guy I was like, i'm catching genuine feelings for a guy who goes home to his girlfriend every single day we get to saturday he takes his girl who he's acting who he says he's playing happy families with he takes her on such a nice date very expensive very pricey it was giving i'm in love with this girl there's no one else in the world for me I'm happy here vibes like how do you go from kissing me one day telling me sweet enough to now you're taking your girl on an expensive date when I paid for my own meal on our date it put everything I needed to know into perspective and from that point I started logging out of that I was like yeah no I'm done here I'm, I'm done here I was just like respectfully I just don't need to be involved in this anymore like I i'm hurt enough then he actually comes in on the monday which we are 
at what week is this now week eight so he comes in on the monday and he quits just like that he literally comes in um says to lily and i yeah i'm quitting i'm handing in my resignation letter i didn't say a word to him that whole morning i didn't talk to him I acted like he wasn't there um because like i just well he went around saying like bye to everyone and he came to hug me and i didn't want to make things known like so obvious that i'm mad at him so i was just like yeah bye and it was just like a one-handed like pat on the back kind of a hug um, and then he messaged me after and he was like well that wasn't very nice and i was like what what do you want from me what what do you actually want from me because <sighs> now man i'm mad he goes if this tennessee is when this tennessee is done and you're still single like i'll hit you up and we can try again and i was like cool week nine we call it he gets exposed and i get blocked and threatened yeah 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 i tell my cousin well i tell him the whole story i tell my cousin the whole story like what's going on i think i'd been telling my cousin what was going on because we're quite close so i'd been telling him what was going on asked for an update and i just told him like i was like listen this guy has hurt me like i'm i'm hurt but it's cool i was like i'm gonna move on like whatever it is what it is next thing i know he's messaging me and he's like yeah so charlotte's asking for screenshots of your chat and i'm like what and he goes i've sent her the Hinder. David and Charlotte naturally start thinking it's me. So David does message me and he was like, I know what you're doing, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, what? I had to so oblivious to the whole thing. I was like, what? Because it wasn't, technically it wasn't me. I didn't know what was being said. Like I wasn't sending the messages. I was just, I just supplied the Hinder account. And then somehow Charlotte and Lily end up having a conversation about the whole thing which was really weird to me because i was like the two people that should be talking right now should be david and i if anyone's got to talk here it's got to be david and i yeah it was lily and charlotte i was like okay whatever charlotte didn't want to speak to me because i don't know what her reason was i forgot what her reason was but she found it easier to talk to lily than she did to talk to me and i was like fair enough like do your thing boo like it's what it is i think she said like she doesn't want to hurt my feelings or anything like that i was like we'll pass that baby girl he said i parked outside that place headlights on bam and i was there watching them i was like don't make me out to be the psycho because i'm actually not a psycho because everything that's happened none of it am i making up at that point i was like lily listen anything you've been holding back just say it tell everything to charlotte i actually don't care at this point because he's made me out seem like a psycho i felt bad for the screen recording being sent and i was refusing to send any screenshots of conversations between david and i to charlotte then after he made me out seem like a psycho i was like lily say it all say the whole story go from the start go from day one of us walking into the office if you want to and now lily's selling all this to charlotte my guy's throwing up because he's been caught there was one day and this is how it kind of all ended like you'd be happy to know we are near the end one day he actually sends me a message like a massive paragraph threatening me i don't know if i still have it on here in a nutshell he was like what you're doing is messed up creating multiple accounts harassing me and my girlfriend what you're doing is out of order i've done you a week a month and a half um and you're acting like this next time he was like he literally said to me like next time you message either me or my girlfriend i'm reporting you to the police for harassment um and then went on to say some petty little things i actually messaged him again and i said my piece and i was like listen from my side everything was genuine okay i never actually was the one who messaged your girlfriend with the hinge and i do apologize for that like i i was like it was my cousin who sent that and i didn't know my cousin was sending that until after they started having a conversation and i do apologize i tried to stop it all from happening and then you went and decided to call me a psycho so i was like yeah let me drag you too because you want to drag me i will pull you under the bus bro i will drag you down with me and you will go further down i'm not no you're not making me out to be a psycho when i wasn't um so i said all of that and i was like you could have 
easily at any point just been like listen i'm focused on just my girl like let's keep this as just work colleague kind of a thing but no you chose to play me and that wasn't fair to me i was like you go on and do your thing i hope you and your girlfriend have a happy life like i hope you work things out i hope everything goes swell between you i was like i wish you all the best for your future like job wise whatever but like we don't need to talk anymore and he did reply and i don't know what his response was but i was kind of like why are you replying like what have, what have you got to reply to like leave me alone like i wanted to say my final piece just so we could stop talking but now you said something to me i was like now you're getting in the last word and i don't want you to get in the last word i want to have the last word he replied and i was like why are you still like why are you talking to me like just leave like i've said all i need to say there's nothing more we need to talk about here and i was just him going on about this restraining order what what and i was like restraining order for what because i actually didn't do anything but yeah and that's what happened and that's when this guy tried to threaten to get a restraining order against me for for what for cheating on your girlfriend um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this story time it was a bit wild i hope i told it quite well that went a lot better than how it was going when i was doing a get ready with me very much more planned out i don't even know if that was english but yeah no i hope I hope that was interesting to listen to i hope some of you learned something from that i don't know if people are in that situation something like it you know someone that's in a situation like that like where it's just messy <sighs> guys what i'm saying is just be just beware don't let people play with your feelings okay this life is too short don't be made to seem like a psycho you're better than that unless you are a psycho do your thing i know i'm gonna end this here <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye